What's up, y'all? This is RVS. This is ROD, a.k.a. Rated R. And we are the We Coming For You cast. And we talk about pro wrestling from a black dude's perspective. Tell them what they can expect on this here podcast. Oh, we're going to give you all the raw and dirty and the everything black from AEW, WWE, Impact Wrestling, and any other wrestling in between. If you want your wrestling unfiltered, uncensored, and you want it raw, you need to subscribe to the We Come For You cast. Right here on SOLC Network. <laughs> Welcome to Dust Post. Call a nigga three in the fucking morning. <laughs> oh man, don't you know oh. you? King of Iowa, dog. Hey, look, it is what it is, man. But we are back. Just posted in the building. Appreciate all the love, man. Uh, I appreciate all y'all still battling on the Tory Lanes uh post. Uh, this still comments oh. going back. One dude wrote a whole dissertation on, and I didn't even read it all. It was just, it looked like it was like he thought he knew legal jargon. He's like, if you look at it, the residue on the back end of her thigh was not in accordance with the way that the prosecution selected. I was like, God damn, dude. Like, the nigga guilty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, turned, nigga turned into Perry Mason. He said, yeah. <laughs> Use all the big words. I'm going to read this shit. Hold on. Let me pull this shit up. They, uh, they, they, they was talking tough, too. Go, yeah, I thought I was gonna get this. This the first time I thought somebody was gonna actually run up on me, and I was like, "Damn, I'm gonna have to pistol whip a nigga over a podcast." <laughs> How exactly was any of those charges proven beyond a reasonable doubt? Huh? They still have no idea who gun it was. Why you wish? Why you wish? That's his. That's his. These hey, niggas' yeah. wild voice. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, y'all gotta know. listen to it. This is all one run on sentence, too. I'm, not, I'm gonna be talking with no with no period. So just keep this in mind. I did not, I'm not <laughs> rambling. I'm literally reading it as a, something that's supposed to be real. But your voice though. Hey man. <laughs> I, I, I read this, so let Oh, you read this already? Yeah, but let those ain't read it, so let them hey, man. They still have no idea who gun it was unregistered. <laughs> also, the DNA <laughs> from both sides tested. If he was the owner, more than likely, his DNA would be on the magazine. His DNA was inconclusive on the gun with four of the samples. Then you have the woman who fought Meg right before the incident asked for immunity to protect herself in her words. She also had gun residue on her hands. Meg also told us damn near 10 different stories, plus in a change on the stand. The eyewitness testimony was all over the place. He said he saw the girl shoot first while Tori was still in the vehicle and then struggled in the vehicle and I mean, struggle over the gun at one point, he saw two people with guns. So a jailhouse audio outweighs all of that when he didn't even mention anything about shooting. This trial was filled with lies, contradictions, and reasonable doubt, my brother. Wait, wait, wait. wait say, say, say it again. Contradictions? <laughs> <laughs> this trial was filled with lies, contradictions, and reasonable doubt, my brother. Yes. <laughs> I still ain't. I, I, listen, I since we're talking I, I, about this, I wasn't even like, listen. I wasn't even listening to what he was saying. I was listening to his voice. I'm like, who? Do, like, where, where did his voice come from? Dar- 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 Des- you've never heard. So I had Daryl Dar- 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 does this voice in the morning to talk about it. Talk about a basketball game that happened at, at seven o'clock. No, that was different. That was a different voice. That was a different, different voice. voice. He called that's, that's, the that's the King of Iowa voice. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta stay focused, though. That's a whole nother voice. He called himself the King of Iowa. He said, "Nigga, I'm Dame Dash of Iowa, bro." <laughs> I said, "Then who is Jay Z? I'm so confused right now." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, where's your fellas? Wife? Fellas, fellas, put on the phone. <laughs> Last thing about Tory Lanez, I hate his daddy hair. That, bull, that bullshit ass spray painted ass man. hair. I hate that shit so fucking much. Yeah. I want to pay, take a, I want to take a dry eraser, eraser, and just squeegee his fucking head. But doesn't that Tor, Tor do that type of shit with that little glossy hair like that too? So that's where you get it from. Yeah, it's not hair, bro. It's not hair. It's it's the it's the implants. Nigga got a spray, got a motherfucking spray tan lining. I when hate I that. Veneers, when I get veneers, I'm gonna be cheesing all down like this, talking big shit. I'm gonna get the whole like. You getting the big ones? You gonna get the big veneers? Oh, big go home, my nigga. Like, like the big, the big horse joints. Oh yeah, yeah, nigga, my shit go. Or or the chicklets. I say get the chicklets. Get, get the baby ones. So you, you getting the Ike Turner joints? Nigga, like Elmer, my shit gonna be like Elmer Fudd, nigga. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. All right, let's jump on in, fellas. Uh big big news. Kyrie Irving is gone and traded to the Dallas Mavericks for a bunch of nothing. No disrespect to Spencer Dunwoody or Finney Smith, but considering what Kyrie is worth, they didn't really get that much back for him. There was a lot I mean, of they, 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 they got Spencer back. Spencer was they got rid of Spencer to get Kyrie. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> It's, it's 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 a weird it's just a weird it's like a well first I, I, so uh the owner of uh of the Nets made it very clear with his move that he wasn't gonna send him to uh to uh the Lakers, which is I mean I get it, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not you feel put me through all this shit and I'm gonna send you where you wanna go. Fuck no. Um so I mean that makes sense. I don't think he gonna stay in Denver. Or, I'm sorry, Denver, Dallas. Um I don't think that I think it'd be interesting to watch, but with it being was it February, that push is gonna be weird. But I mean, him, him, Christian Wood, and um, what's the other guard there? Tim Hardaway. I mean, there's some pieces there, but I mean, who go when it's when, it, when you down five, fourth quarter, two minutes left? Like, who the fuck you going to? Because if you need a play, you usually go to Donchies. He drove that motherfucker for like twenty seconds. Like, and then he dished off to Hardaway or or, or the other nigga that just got traded, uh, Dinwiddie, to try to make a play. Like, Kyrie ain't going for that shit. Listen, so. th- this Luca team, bro. Kyrie, th- this this Kyrie problem. Kyrie is a is a Robin that wants to be Batman. He wanted he want to be Nightwing. He think he Dick Grayson, but really he not. Like he he he's not a standalone. But then also too, as a this, Lakers, this is Luca's team. He need to go in there. And listen to Fat Lulu, and fucking make it work. But as a Laker fan, I'm kind of looking at uh, Palinka sideways too because um, they didn't. Ask, I mean, they asked for a lot of picks. Let's get it. It's not Palinka's fault. Joe Sy, basically, that's the owner of, of the Nets, said that I'm not sending him to LA. So they could have offered whatever. He was not going to LA. When the owner of the team, like we not trading you to LA, how you gonna blame Palinka and the owner? I mean, he dead ass said it. Like, well, not nah, because now, granted, granted uh, unless his house of highlights was wrong on the shit, uh, they were saying how they wanted they wanted AR fifteen or Reeves. Um, who the fuck up the other dude was? I forgot the other guy, but they wanted a lot of picks, right? And but he wasn't gonna never he wasn't gonna make the deal with LA anyway. Like that's the when you you got to come into it with the owner of the team. Then blatantly told everybody we will send this nigga anywhere but LA. Yeah. So LA can't put no package together if he's not on the table. Like, I, I I can't be mad at Rob Polinka about this one. When the nigga who owned the other team, like you not going to LA. Like you I not almost, I almost want to know what made Mark Cuban pull that trigger because <laughs> there's no guarantee that, that man gonna stay there. Oh year. man, he about to sell he about to sell them tickets. He's about to sell them tickets. They're gonna get in the playoffs. It's gonna be packed. Yeah. He's gonna do his best to convince Kyrie to stay, but it's a rental. He got him a rental for a, a couple of months, and he's gonna do everything he can to convince him that Dallas is where he wanna be. Dallas got good food, it's pretty women down there, nightlife ain't too bad. They gonna do he gonna do everything to to sell Dallas. He can't sell Dallas to him from nowhere else. He said, no. what's the best way I can maximize my profits this season? What's your what's your thoughts on the on the on the contract that we got with Kyrie? It was like, yo, we got to tie to you winning the championship. I was like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's kinda it's kinda rocking the hard place. You know what I'm saying? Like, while I was like like the owner of the Nets has full right to be like, no, Kyrie, like I'm gonna make this motherfucking contract specific as fuck because I'm not giving you all this money and you ain't showing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I don't know. And then, like, even on even on first take, like, uh, they got into a heated argument, they being J. Will and uh, Stephen A. Because Stephen A. was coming from it, like, what CB talked about, like, yo, listen, the man ain't been there. Why I'm giving this man, I think, what, 200 something crate, 200 million some dollars from that? Why I'm giving you all that money and you ain't been here? Like, why is that hard to understand? And then J. Will, come from the perspective of 
you know, he's been doing things outside of basketball. We need to quit blaming him for all this kind of other stuff. But I'm like, Jay Will, I feel that, but like Kyrie kind of dug his own hole, bro. Like, like the past since since Boston, this nigga has lit up every single team he's been at. Like Whoa, 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 whoa. Did the same thing in Cleveland. I don't want to follow LeBron. I don't want to be this. Trade right. me. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Listen, I will say this. And I have no type of hatred or nothing personal against Kyrie. I think Kyrie is a yeah, the person. Yeah, I think no, I think he's a hell of a basketball player when he actually fucking plays. He ain't played a full season since high school. Mm -mm. The nigga ain't played a full season since he was seventeen. Yeah, he either hurt. I'm not taking the vaccine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go take some time off to do this. Right. It's my birthday. I need to call off. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is the most. Oh, yeah. I'm not. He's the niggerest. Like he, he's he 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 stay on super nigger. You know how niggas clock in late, but still want to get paid for the full shift. Take extra time on their lunch. Still want the full shift. I'm gonna take a four day weekend. Fuck it. I use my COVID pay. Like he like this is Kyrie. And 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 he's been this way. Yeah. He was hurt in Boston. He was hurt in Cleveland. I'm not getting the vaccine. I'm not going to do this. I think the other thing about this is that Kyrie people were saying that, you know, it's this whole contract of how, you know, they got to be tied to a championship. And, you know, you got to be able to do all this. And, and the majority, okay, tied to a championship, I get it. That was like an extra piece of it. But like when you break down the contract, it was like, yo, the majority of it was. Just show up. Be consistent. That's all we need. My man don't like coming to work. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, Kyrie is an NBA champion. He's a hell of a fucking point guard. If Kyrie is locked in, he can score 50 every night. Mm -hmm. But Kyrie might not be locked in for six weeks at a time. He might take six weeks off. Thanks. And well, that's nice. very hard to build a franchise with a culture of winning well, you don't know if the nigga that's supposed to come to work gonna come to work or not. Like that's hard. So I never like being on the side of the white man, especially during Black History Month. But <laughs> goddamn. But that brings up the other thing, though. What y'all think about? What y'all think KD gonna do? Because that's the other. That's the other elephant in the room. Oh, like, I mean, shit. KD was requesting a trade over the summer. So I mean, KD doesn't want to. I mean, this is my issue with Kyrie. Let me start over. They could have went to the Knicks, but Kyrie chose Brooklyn and convinced KD to come to Brooklyn. He sold this nigga a dream. Mm -hmm. He's a dream selling ass nigga. He sold KD a dream. He promised that they, he thought that they would compete for a ring. That's what he told KD. Yeah. So now that the other motherfuckers that hired you, like you know what you said, you was gonna try to get us a ring, nigga. I'm gonna give you extra money if you get that ring. Hey, and really got, the team that he wanted too. DeAndre Jordan got paid. Like I don't even know where he came. I, from. That, that's KD fault. DeAndre Jordan. That, that's KD boy. No. So I mean, I, I ain't gonna bring Kyrie for that one. You know what? I hope them niggas play well. I like Luca. I like little fat Lulu. Um, I fucks with Kyrie. Oh, when it comes to basketball, I hope we get who go Uncle playing? Drew. I don't do like you, Kyrie. I like Uncle do, Drew. I hope we get you, Uncle Drew. But I'm saying, but do you see, do you see, I just can't see, like, I see Luca bring the ball down court. I see Kyrie, like, you know, calm for the ball. I just, I just see a, I, them on the court at the same time, I'm going to be like, how the fuck is this going to work? Like, I got to, I got to wait and see what happens. But I don't think they're going to win a championship. Not this year. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm trying to understand the reason for the trade, though, because it's literally. Put, he, he, he pulled a card. And those and, and owner, no, I'm talking from Dallas's perspective. Oh yeah. man, I mean, Kyrie from the field, them seats up, bro. The boy is box office. Kyrie is definitely the still Stephen A's uh terminology, he's box office. Mm -hmm. Kyrie can put up 45 50 points easy, yeah, and with a lot of fucking razzle dazzle and crossovers, and and he can do that. shit. Luca wasn't gonna win shit by itself either, like. And I'm sorry, losing. You said they gave up nothing, basically. What yeah. they, for what mm -hmm. they, for what they gave up. Why wouldn't you get Kyrie for four months? If you can give up some bullshit, 
and get Kyrie for four months. Let's try this shit out and see what happens. You know, what's the worst thing that happen? She leaves. Yeah, the head, either that or or she gonna take the money and and sign to stay longer and then try to force a buyout like over the summer some dumb shit like that's the kind of nah. thing. hey that is a whole ass move though so I make you sign no, no, no. And I try to force you to buy me out he's on an expiring contract so he's not they're not gonna sign him to a new deal unless he's staying that's why Brooklyn got rid of him like this is either they trade him and get something. Or at the end of the year, he just leaves. Because Kyrie wasn't staying in Brooklyn. He was not going to stay in Brooklyn. That's crazy, though, bro, to think that. Because I, I was I was on the train. I was like, yo, them niggas from the run the East Coast. They from the run the East Coast. Ain't nobody fucking with Brooklyn. That's crazy. From paper. And then one by one. And then the, the funny other part about this is Ben Simmons was an all-star. And I, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Bro, the Bat, the Bat family is cool. But they ain't shit without Batman. You got fucking Nightwing. You got Damian Wayne on that motherfucker. That's Ben Simmons. You got a whole bunch of fucking Robins on the team. That girl. Then, <laughs> on fucking paper, you get fucking Red Hood and fucking all these motherfuckers together. You're like, they hard. Mm-hmm. Nigga, boom, they show up, you need Batman. And they ain't got a fucking Batman. Yeah. They were destined to fail. I told you from the get go. I said, them niggas are going to fail mm-hmm. miserably. I was right. like, KD. Don't want to be a leader. Kyrie just want to fucking do crossovers and behind the back bullshit. Harden don't want to do shit. He don't play defense when they had Harden. And then they got Ben Simmons who scared to shoot. I'm like, this is, uh, them niggas is destined. Yo, to do, you, do you think Philadelphia has done something mentally to their point guards? Because you remember Markel Fultz? That nigga lost his, uh, his, his jumper. Then you got Ben Simmons. Well, Ben Simmons ain't really never have a jumper. <laughs> you got to have a jumper to lose it. So yeah. that's just like you got to have one to lose it. I still to this day, I'm like, bro, how did how did he make it this far without a fucking jump shot? He really they was comparing him to, to Magic, dog. I'm like, Magic didn't really have a jump shot either. They thought the league. So listen, Steph Curry has changed the league. The league has changed. Everybody needs to be able to shoot from mm-hmm. the center to the point guard. Yeah. If this was the 1990s, Ben Simmons would be just fine. Ben oh. Simmons would have been just fine in the 90s. Mm-hmm. He'd have been a fucking all star. Who, who would he have been if he, in the 90s? Who would he have been sleepy? Who, who would he have been in the 90s? I, I mean, he's tall as fuck, dog. And he a point guard. So I really, the, the best thing would have been magic, but he ain't got magic vision or, or a court awareness. Yeah. But I mean, if you're a point guard that, that's that you that fucking big, He'd have been posting the fuck. Man, Mark Price would have got eight up. Mark Price. Man, Simmons would have been posting hey. that boy up. Is he, Lamar, is he Lamar Odom in his prime? Kind of feel? Ooh. Lamar had a uh, Lamar, had, he, had, Lamar had a mid range. Yeah. yeah. Lamar had that mid range game down back. I don't know who Ben. I mean, I, I, Ben Simmons plays great defense. And he can pass. And he used to be able to score in the paint. He, he would have been Tay, he'd have been Tayshawn Prince. He is no, you know what's crazy? We so talking about the night. Tayshawn had a three. He had a jumper. Tayshawn did have a jumper. I got nothing. You know, I got, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> right, what's uh, what's old boy name? Old buddy name? They do they gonna do a thirty for thirty on uh, because he he stood for the. Uh, I'm sorry, my dude, my roof. Do yeah. not compare Ben Simmons to him. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. But I, I just think it's crazy. Oh, okay. Um, that dude had a flame old jumper, a.k.a. Boy, Chris Jackson. He was, he was Steph Curry before Steph Curry was here. Yes. Like, damn. I definitely uh, need to see that motherfucking documentary. It's really good. You saw it already? It already? I saw the, the the 30 for 30 they did like a few years ago about him. So... He's got they got a new doc. He's got a new documentary coming out on Netflix coming out. Uh, okay. Oh, but no, ESPN, oh, did, my bad. My bad. ESPN oh. did one a thirty for thirty a while back. Wow, no, no, okay, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Okay, I was like, wait, they're doing another one, but no, oh, Netflix is doing one. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's overall, why. y'all think this is gonna be a good good trade for who? Is it both? Is both teams losing oh. this this trade? Or? No, yeah. it's, not, it's not gonna affect ship, ship, uh, ship of Dallas. It's gonna be fun for a little bit, but once they, you know, look at the game plan, be like, okay, let's just let's just ISO and just spread the shit out. Like they ain't got nobody, they ain't got no shooters. Then Neither we, team was gonna win a championship any damn way. Yeah, so but, yeah, but, but Brooklyn got, got rid of Kyrie, and he was a headache for them. 
and that's what they wanted. And Dallas go make some extra money for at least four months and possibly get him to resign. The Mavericks are acting like the Cowboys. Just sign up some big ass names and don't win shit. Like that's what I mean, like that's what that's when you sign a free agent, every free agent don't equal a win. That shit crazy. Who you got who you who you who you speaking of basketball though? I ain't gonna stay there forever, but like who you think will come out the West now? I know we do this a lot. I'm just saying, like a mock, a mock, a mock Western Conference Finals, because the the Kings still ain't still ain't started losing yet. The Until Suns, the playoffs get here, it's still Golden State as the niggas. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I, if Golden State you, get healthy, they can run ifs. any they can run anybody out the playoffs. That's a lot of ifs. That's a lot of ifs. Yes. It was a great poem. If I was rich, I'd be. They, but listen. I, I I saw them do it last year. I saw them. I saw them struggle during the season. I saw them bullshit, bullshit. You ain't, ain't seen them struggle this bad league. No, nah, I mean it's Steph. Like, the it's Steph it's was hurt this year. Weird, like Steph was out. When you lose your when 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 your Batman go out, dog, you gonna struggle. But this is the weirdest, weirdest team I've ever like. This is the weirdest team I've ever seen. Like they will be, they will be the. A, a, a good ass team, but then get blown out by thirty by, by the or lose at a lose at the buzzer to the Pistons. Like they're playing crazy. to their competition. I don't know what's going on with Clay Thompson. This happens a lot after you win the championship. I've seen other teams do it too. You win a championship, that next year you are just going through the motions because you ain't gonna turn it up till you get to the playoffs. You're just going through the motions. They go fuck on that playoff, get to that uh, playing game. You think Draymond leaving? I, probably not. You don't think so? Probably not. Let me ask you this: Do you think? Do you think he deserves the money he's asking for? No, but he gonna get it. Based off past, somebody gonna give it to him. He, he gonna if, if they don't, somebody else will. Do you think he gonna get it from Golden State though? I think Golden State, depending upon what they do this year, if they win another ring, he's staying. They not win another ring. And I, was right, man. I didn't think they would win last year either. But it's guess what? If the war, if the Warriors, if the Warriors even get to the Western Conference Finals here, I will. I don't even know. I do some crazy shit because that's that's hard to believe. That's hard to believe. It's just too much. Too much. I, okay, how about Denver's not beating them? They beat them already twice. No, no, I'm talking about in the playoffs. I, the regular season don't mean a goddamn thing in basketball. In a seven game series, Denver's is not what's beating they, them. What's their ranking right now? They stay seven. Seven. Go to state. They go to state seven. Look like seven. Okay. So you got so you got Denver. You got you got Memphis. Memphis ain't beating them. You got Sacramento. Sacramento's not beat. It's fucking Sacramento. I don't believe you know you don't believe eight, Sacramento. Where is the eight seed right now? What'd you say? Warriors are the eight seed right now. Eight seed. Who's above them? Who's above? Who's above them? Uh, Dur- Timberwolves, Mavericks, Suns, Clippers, Kings, Grizzlies, Nuggets. Who, who, who's the ninth seed? Ninth seed is the Pelicans. They'll beat the Pelicans for the play-in. They'll beat them with as healthy Zion. Who the fuck going Zion? Is Zion going to be healthy? <laughs> you hope so. It would, okay, okay. With a healthy Zion and a healthy Warriors team. Oh, I'm taking still. I just feel like I feel like nobody can guard Steph. If Steph like, is healthy, nobody's stopping Steph. I feel like they go as far as Clay go. And Clay is so Clay has been so off and on, dog. Come out. No. What do Zion shoot? A lot of twos, right? Yeah, he goes to basket. What what Steph shoot? Threes. That's one more point every fucking time. I I'm I got I'm going with Steph. It, it's it's team, it's team games. It's team I'm games. Going with Steph. It, ain't, it ain't no one on one game though. It's, it's no, no. I'm just saying. I'm going with, <laughs> if I got to pick between the nigga that's going to dunk on me or the nigga that's going to shoot threes and go 95% from the free throw line, that's Steph, by the way. I'm going Steph. Like, <laughs> you think Dave's staying in Portland? Unless Portland's going to have to trade Dave. He's not leaving. He just signed a new contract. I don't, I don't believe in contracts anymore. No. Dame is loyal. I don't believe that. I mean, everybody. You, I believe if there's one nigga in the league that's loyal, it's Dame. He he, he wouldn't have tried to contract He could have been forced his way out of Portland. Dame could have been there. Dame loyal. 
This is what y'all want, though. Y'all want loyal niggas like this. Y'all was mad when LeBron want to leave and this nigga want to leave. <laughs> niggas need to stay. Not Dame Stan. What right. Dame gonna do? <laughs> people people ass niggas, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Not necessarily you. I'm talking about niggas. How niggas, did we get this? How did this come back to LeBron James, though? Uh, I use an example of somebody that switched no, 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 teams. No no no, 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 no. This is the toxic shit that I be talking about. That I'm glad that people that see this is that toxic. What I be going through? Yes, I'm choosing the word toxic. That niggas about to break the scoring record. See? Everything see? is about fucking LeBron. Nigga, yeah. what, what do you mean? <laughs> we were talking about Damon Lillard, and you brought LeBron James into this. He's the exact opposite, according to y'all, of LeBron. He's loyal. He stays with the team. He we doesn't quit. About if Damon Lillard would leave the Trailblazers, he's, he's not leaving. Down. He's not going to go nowhere. I feel like he could. The, they uh, traded McCullum. They got rid of McCullum over him. He ain't going nowhere. They made their choice. How awkward is it in the league right now, though? Because if I'm Westbrook, I'm like, fuck y'all. Listen, that nigga come off the bench. He'll be all right. <laughs> He'll role player now. He'll be all right. Damn. All right. This weekend, we got the Super Bowl. Last week, Sleepy's uh, boys went down. Or two weeks ago now, Sleepy's uh, boys went down. The 49ers losing to those the Dirty Eagles. And uh, on the other side, we got Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City knocking off uh, Joe Burrow. I, I call him Joe Risky Burrow because um, he, he if, if he was black, I think a lot more black people would like him. It's just that he a country white boy from Athens, Ohio, and it's just kind of not working out for the, for the branding purposes. But we could have had him. We, Ohio State was supposed to. Ah, fuck, he, 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 y'all had him for three years. Fucking Urban Meyer, dog. <laughs> Urban Meyer of all people. Urban Meyer of all people fucked that up. I blame you, Sleepy. That's Sleepy's fault. Because we the only college we this the this the college football team that we agree on. And if it wasn't if it wasn't for Sleepy, somehow it's connected to him. Urban Meyer fucked it up. We could have had Joe Burrow. Nigga. Okay. By now. But but we talk about the NFL. So let's stay focused. <laughs> Young man. <laughs> All right, so for the Super Bowl, what y'all got? How y'all feeling about this upcoming Super Bowl? Okay, First so Bowl with two black quarterbacks. Happy Black uh, History, bud. Uh, you got two black quarterbacks in the Super Bowl. Like one is like blackity black here. Mm-hmm. Two, like, like his agent is a Delta. His agent is a Delta. We got one Jalen, a nigga named Jalen. Jalen is a nigga. He's a nigga. He's a. You, know this, you see what his daddy's name was? You see what? Hey, no, no, no! Try to what? pronounce his daddy's name. Try to pronounce his daddy's name. I don't I'm know how to pronounce do it. I don't disrespect people's names, bro. I know. Okay, that's all we. That's look. We're not gonna disrespect their dad's brother's mm. dad's name, but that's all you need to know about him. How did Patrick Mahomes end up so fucking white bread, and his fucking daddy looked like he built fucking carburetors and a smoked Newport? A, a variant hurts. A variant. That's it, right? I think it is. Over well, Avery, Avery, bro. See, you're doing it. This is what you do. <laughs> if you don't know how to pronounce the name, don't mess with nobody's name. A very Oh my god! <laughs> it's always one nigga. <laughs> you know, that remind me of Rex. You remember them uh, Avery Jackies? Dog. Oh. So you remember Avery Rex coach, nigga? We was on them shits, dog. Hey, my Avery Rex motherfucking jean jacket was the shit. By the way, go ahead. I'm sorry. All right. So, Patrick Mahomes' daddy is black as fuck, dog. Black as fuck. <laughs> but, I remember Patrick Mahomes, part of his life he lived in Minnesota because his daddy played for the Twins. No, but listen, that did, did y'all see that nigga talking? Yeah, we're talking about I was smoking on that uh, that pet, uh, that Joe Burrow. <laughs> hey, time out. That that nigga <laughs> drinks Mad Dog Twenty Twenty, dog. He's a nigga. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't you know, drink some country club in his day. He didn't drink a country, I, I was, drink a country club. This is the first time in a long time that uh, I've been excited to see a Super Bowl because one, uh, this is sounds this is this is random and shit, but the Pro Bowl was actually fun to watch. I don't know if y'all watched the Pro Bowl or not, but nah. it was actually it was actually fun to watch. Now, granted, I wasn't sitting down making time to watch it, uh, but 
looking at it, the flag football thing. It was like this is this is kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? But all of the side stories for the uh for the Super Bowl makes it a good Super Bowl. You got two black quarterbacks, right? Um, and then you got obviously, you know, they've never beat the they've never beat the uh the Eagles. Then you got um Andy Reid, who's coached both places, and you got the Kelsey brothers. That shit's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I just, I just love that dynamic. You know what I'm saying? Um, but there's a lot of side stories that you just you just love to hear about. So I mean, me myself, I, I just I, it's hard for me to say that Patrick Mahomes is, is not gonna win this motherfucker because as soon as you think that they down like twenty, this nigga throws a four yard bomb when they like fourth and fourteen. He just let that motherfucker fly and it's a touchdown to Kelsey. Like that's the weird shit. So um, the Eagles beat the Forty Nine ers. Uh, you know. It is what it is. That was the weirdest game. It ever. It, it shows that injuries happen in football. Christian That's McCaffrey what was going to be. A, Christian McCaffrey was going to be a quarterback. It shows That's that like, no. football yeah. is a very taxing sport. You can get hurt. It's to me, it's the hardest sport when it comes to the toll on your body. Because I, I watched two quarterbacks get hurt in the same game. That's crazy. So I mean, it is what it is. I'm I mean, actually thinking the Eagles will win. To staying in the game though, because they, I mean, shit, the surgery he got to get, Tommy John surgery, that ain't no bitch. So the fact that he was able to stay in there, whew, shit. yeah, Brock a real, Brock a real one. He, he, he tougher than what he looks like. Mm. But but yeah, I'm picking the Eagles, man. I got the Eagles. What's, what's your score? Twenty four twenty. No, sir. You don't think of thirties, Pete Mahomes? How you gonna ask me what I pick and then say no, sir? I, I, you, <laughs> just give me your, just give me your score. Like, like, like thirty-seven, thirty-seven, thirty. Yeah, I feel like it's not gonna get, it's not gonna be alive until like third quarter. That's when all the touchdowns go. Start Eagles playing. got a really good defense, dog. Yeah. They got a really good defense. Yeah. Patrick's still on that bad wheel, too. It ain't all the way healed up yet. I mean, but shit, dog. That was at fourth and 14. Oh, my goodness, dog. Anyways. What about you, D? Who you got winning the game? I'm going with – I'm rolling with Philly, man. Um, And and, and a lot of people will probably say, because we all have St. Louis people, that we hate on Kansas City teams. That's part I, of it. I really can't stand Kansas City as as a, as a city, as a <laughs> as a community, you know. So yeah. So nice. there, there is that a part of it as well. I mean, that's part of my prediction being the Philly is part of that. But Jalen Hurts also being just a regular nigga too, though. No, just... Jalen Hurts. I won't I, listen. And he's Patrick, an underdog. His whole career, he's been an underdog. Patrick yeah. got his, but Patrick, you know, Patrick, he he could be on the Wonder Years. He could have been on Boy Meets World, like you know Patrick Mahomes. He could he he been in different spaces. He could have been on Boy Meets World. What are you talking? I mean, about? He, he the black. He, he's the non. He's, he's the, the non-threatening black, black guy. guy. He's the, oh, the non-threatening black guy. He the black guy that you wouldn't mind, a white a white man wouldn't be upset with him dating their daughter. That's just Patrick. He is dating a white woman, so I, yeah. I'm just saying, that's just Patrick. I want a I, I want a nigga to win. A full on I'm a Q. This nigga plays the black frat. Like this nigga, he a nigga. Like, <laughs> and and not and not to take anything from, from, from Mahomes. But he got one already. Yeah. Right, he got one. I want to see a nigga get one. Who, who's waiting? You see, you think it's going to be more than you think it's going to be like, uh, uh, Hurts or uh, if if who if somebody loses, whichever team loses, who you think it's gonna affect more? Like obviously, you know, you come back next year. It's always next year type. Mahomes got one already. If Mahomes lose, he he just lose, mm. and he been to a couple. It was this is third. Yep, third one. So yeah. like he he, he tested. He pulled it tough. I ain't gonna never hate on dude. And if it was anybody else except the 49ers, I'd probably be like. I'm always going for if, if it's a black person in it, I'm with the black person. If it's if it's a black person and it's not one of my teams going against them, I'm rooting for everybody black. I, I'm rooting for everybody black. 
I just got to go on who blacker on this one. I'm going with the black. <laughs> I'm just picking the one that's a little more blacker. He a little more. I can. I feel like I can hang out with Jalen Hurts. I feel like if Jalen Hurts went to school in St. Louis, or for some reason, we, I feel like he would be cool to kick it with. I don't, I don't want it. I wouldn't hang out with, with my homes. I he, agree. He, he the black dude that don't sit at our table. And we went. If we were at school, he wouldn't sit with us. And it's not because we didn't want him to. He made his choice. He over there. <laughs> he the black dude. I'm gonna show my age. You remember Stussy? He the black dude drawing Stussy symbols. Like, nigga, what are you doing? <laughs> he on the other side of the cafeteria. He ain't hanging. Yeah, up. and there's nothing wrong with that. You feel whatever you comfortable do that. I just couldn't see myself in any type of situation being like Patrick. Let's go out. Like, uh, mm. Jalen. Jalen, go to the spotlight. I'm with you. <laughs> oh, man. All right, peace, Friday, dog. Great night. It was My home was at Buka. And yeah, Buka can be cool, but I ain't going to Buka every week. Man, you went back to Buka. <laughs> I ain't going to Buka every week. Buka is, you know, ain't shit else going on. We outside. Fuck it. Let's go. Nigga said, Jalen go to Dreams, nigga. Club Dreams. We just, yes. He at the law. <laughs> Jalen go to the marquee. He had brunch at the marquee. Patrick at first watch. <laughs> Y'all didn't even serve liquor at, at that motherfucker. He he drinking orange juice. Oh, <laughs> Nothing uh, wrong with first watch. They got some good smoothies, yeah, by the way. Yeah, the smoothies are fire. So yesterday was the Grammy Awards. A lot was happening. Yeah. Um, Beyonce uh, loses song of the year. She lost all the major categories, it looks like. She lost song of the year and album of the year. Yeah. I was surprised on those two. I'm not gonna front. Yeah. You know what? I was cool with Song of the Year because I I fuck with Lizzo, and yeah. her speech was really inspiring and shit. And that shit came from the heart. And, and she that song was playing everywhere though. That's about. And God that song was that song was in Starbucks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> when you get the when you get the Starbucks, you didn't cross over. Like when you when you you know in, in white spaces like that, it's different. Yeah, that's real. I feel like Kids Bop gonna remake that. Like when Kids Bop make your shit, you just, you, <laughs> you know, I don't think they're gonna make that Beyonce, that Beyonce album. Nah, it's it's a it's a it's a very dance inspired, very black album. Like mm -hmm. like Black Chicago, Go Go. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not Go Go, but you know what I'm saying. Go Go yeah. is is DC, yeah. but very dance. You know, very, very house music. Very house. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's uh, it's I mean, she definitely lost the category, but I mean, she definitely won a night. Shit, I mean, she still made history, even though she didn't win. Uh, she Most winningest person in uh, Grammy history. Shout out to our uh, frat brother Dave, Dave Giles. You know what I'm saying, Mister Mister Kenneth, Mister Paxton, Mister Nasty. You know what I'm saying, he got him a Grammy. You know what I'm saying, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, On podcast, we definitely discuss healing. We discuss uh, aspects of psychology. Um, we discuss like you know you becoming the best you. Mm -hmm. Mental wellness for sure. Health. Femininity, parenthood, dating. Definitely as dating. Single parents. Um, and it's from a lens of two psychologists. You know. Yeah. So, um, but also two two people who grew mm -hmm. up. Like with both parents, mm -hmm. married parents, and then like you all know that Chloe and I are the youngest of our crews, like her yeah. siblings and my siblings. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's from that looking, perspective. Yeah, looking at that. life through that lens. Yeah. So you're gonna get a whole lot of things from us, mm -hmm. from us being women, mm -hmm. going through life as parents, and all of these awesome attributes. But yeah, yeah it's womanology, the study of women. The study of women. <laughs> Check my dog, man. Hey man, listen. Dog. I crazy. talked to that man today. Uh, he's very, shit. We actually was chatting last night after the Grammys. Mm -hmm. He was at home. We was chatting on Twitter. He's like, "Nigga, I'm in bed." I'm like, "Nigga, you had a you had a, a, a fire weekend. You deserve the rest." You produce got a producer credit and a songwriter credit on a fucking Beyonce album, and she got a fucking Grammy. Now you ain't get the big one. If he'd have got that, that if they, he'd have got a Grammy for album of the year, that'd have been really sweet because he would have got a Grammy for that too. But he did get R and B uh, album of the year, not R and B. Uh, like he got a dance electronic. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and that's fucking dope. 
I mean, but the irony is that's that's the genre that he actually makes music in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that 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 I mean, nigga, can you imagine if uh, if you need me on a song, like my price just went like, yeah, nigga, I got a Grammy. Like, stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. beautiful fucking family. He just a good person. Mm-hmm. It's it's not many good people where I'm just like this nigga just good. Dave mm-hmm. just a good motherfucker, yeah. and he deserves all his flowers. Of course, I'm, I'm in the hive. I'm a hive member. You know what I'm saying? You deserve all your flowers too, baby girl. Yo, hey, how, how much you think these tickets gonna cost, dog? Bro, niggas talking about we, we, we talking about the Grammys right now. We gonna get to we, we get to that. They're gonna be regular ticket prices. It's the scalpers that make them go up. Regular ticket prices. No, seven hundred average. No, no. What happens is the tickets be about the same price, just like Jordans be a regular price or Yeezys. And then the bots and the scalpers buy them, and then they resell them for ridiculous prices. Like it's the same. It's the same thing. Like it, it's the same thing. If you want some off whites, you can get off whites for one hundred and fifty, two hundred and fifteen dollars. If you look up and get them. If you don't look up and get them, you're gonna pay five to seven. The <laughs> off whites didn't price them that way. Niggas priced them that way. <laughs> So the, the tickets are gonna be ticket prices, bro. Like they're gonna be ticket prices. That shit crazy. Uh, I do want to see. I want to see. I want to see the concert, but she, oh. hey, she, she's a a beautiful. Show. Her, her showmanship and her the way she entertained, like it's. She would be, I guess, this generation's. I, I ain't gonna say Michael, but definitely Janet. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. How Jenny used to put on the show back in the day, like Rhythm Nation and all that, with the mm-hmm. dancing and singing, and, and and the crowd participation and all that. Like Beyonce is that. Like you know, you know, I also fuck with. She called she called her motherfucking husband beautiful. I love that shit. She was like, shout out to my beautiful husband. I'm like, how oh, you better be fucking beautiful? Nigga. She married that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce, he, dude. I mean, low key, they've been together almost twenty five years. Dog. Doc, they've been together for they've been together for hellas. She loved that man. I love black love like that. That's from black love. She they went through some trials, some shit. tribulations. Some trials. Yeah. Yeah. The whole album up that shit. They bought this shit. Hold up. That's my Bro, shit too. Woo. Woo. Everything that regular people go through, celebrities go through that shit too. Mm-hmm. Probably on an even higher scale. It's niggas yeah. who live in their fucking yeah. parents' basement that's cheating on their girlfriends. This nigga's a billionaire. He has access to all types of women at all times if he wanted to. Bad like, I'm just being realistic. It's niggas on Wabada cheating right now. On Wabada. <laughs> shout, on Wabada. Hey, shout, on Wabada. Wabada. shout out to Wabada, dog. No, I'm just yeah. saying. Like, people be like, I can't believe he cheated on Beyonce. Nigga, he's fucking Jay-Z. That nigga was an icon before he married Beyonce. Like he's an icon in his own right. Hey, and speaking of speaking of ho, he did his motherfucking thing on that on that performance, dog. He did that shit sitting down. That shit was nice. That, the, hey, you know what? They got it. a lot of Christians upset because that's you know they was the, basically the Last Supper. He was ho- he was Jesus in that situation. Uh, I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't get but no, because he kept on saying a ho told you, and that, that yeah. was the thing, though. Yeah, yeah, like he was. He, they, we, that was that was a recreation of, of the Last Supper. I love. The, the the visualization of it. I mean, he been calling himself Hove my whole life. I mean, my Wait, whole. If that was the last supper, then who was Judas? I don't think he had a Judas at the table, but oh, that's no. what they. He didn't have twelve people there either, though. So yeah, okay. he was okay. just going for the aesthetics. Right. Let's just not go for that. You right? Let's yeah. just leave this out there. Let's not go for Judas. Like, damn. He just. But yeah, he um, Hove still got it. That whole this this Grammys was low key black as fuck, dog. I yeah. know we didn't get the big shit. But niggas was winning some awards, dog. Like, was too. I'm just glad it, it felt naturally black and not forced, right? Like, it. it you, well, you, you talked to Chris Brown. He said it was all fixed. Oh yeah. I mean, with Chris, Robert Glasper winning his category, he thought it was all fixed. Who the fuck is Robert Glasper? <laughs> I'm so sick. That's of one of the most ignorant statements, though, man, for yeah. a musician to make that's been in the game that long. He okay, so listen. I truly believe he knows who Robert Glasper is. But most of his fan base does not. And he just wanted them to do what the fuck they do on, on social media yes. and gripe and complain and and, and that's oh, he did a rally. He did he did the uh what is it called? The dog whistle. He put a dog whistle out there. Yeah. And yeah. even and, and if he doesn't, that nigga's an R and B blood. So I mean he might not. 
And he's post thirty. Ain't he post thirty? Thirty five. Gang, gang banging on fucking melodies. Yeah. Damn, dog. This nigga gang banging, gang banging on melodic tunes. You know, what, you, know, you, know, you know what I don't understand? How is it that these singers actually smoke squares and he still sounds good? Never understand. I mean, shit, bro. David Ruffin and all them niggas back in the day was doing all kind of crazy shit and still singing. Smoke squares, R.I.P. I just never understood that. Never understood that. I mean, their voices do get bad over time now. You know what I'm saying? Like, let Chris Brown be still doing that and trying to sing and flip at 48. <laughs> like, then we'll see then. I just never understood it. Like, <sighs> he's doc. Somebody put up a stat on social media. I didn't look up. I didn't look it up to see if it was real. Mm-hmm. That man is one in nineteen at the Grammys, bro. Damn! Wow. That's. I mean, I don't. Again, I don't know if this stat's accurate, but that's the stat that was on social media. I'm like, nigga, I'll be mad too, but you mad at the wrong people. Be mad at the Grammys. It makes it makes sense that Beyonce can't even get get deserving the album of the year. Is this all post uh, Rihanna? All these L's is post Rihanna. I'm assuming, right? I mean, I don't know if he won any pre Rihanna either. Truth be told. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. That 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 nigga. The way he was, he was tra- like. Hey, like but I'm gonna say this. That 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 Robert Glasper. That that album, nice man. That's what that's, I'm saying. That yeah. album is nice. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's because I'm older that I'm like I really fuck with this album. But that album, nice. Yeah, no, it is. It is. That's a nice album. Shit. You know? oh, yeah. I mean, to me, if I'm Chris Brown. I mean, what album would you want? I don't. I don't. That, this, this last album had too many songs on it. Like, and it like a quadruple disc or some shit. Like nah, the, the irony is the the song that's most popular is off an older album. The one, um, "Speak to Me, Your Body Like It." Is that the one with Gunna? Nah, it's uh, not a Gunna. Who's the other uh, dude? Rapper dude? Nah, oh, it don't, it don't rapper on there. Beasy. It was, it went viral and they did like TikTok dances off of the shit. I just can't remember. Oh. Fucking, uh, but it was off an of old album. So my thing was, your popularity right now is really off of an old song. So what the fuck? What, Who you? What album songs you think he was gonna win? I just don't understand that. It's many, listen. Many yes people in your in your ear. See, if he would have had sleepy as his PR person, this shit would have. No, no. Listen, man. I, I now I've now realized that Chris Brown don't listen to nobody. He just do what the fuck <laughs> he do. at this point. He got to, like, at this point, he just do what the fuck he want to do. Like, I would have told him not to be a blood. Like, why are you a blood and you sing songs to women? Like, what what is that? Like, 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 no. <laughs> Chill out. Nobody like And dude's you. super talented. Oh, yeah. When I think of what he could have been, what Chris Brown could have been with the proper guidance or just not being so- some people too much of a nigga. He he overcompensating for nigga. Like he he nigga to the extreme. Yeah. <laughs> that man was beefing with Soldier Boy like ten years, like seven years ago. He was. I still say I still say uh, 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 maybe like a thirty city nah thirty say forty city tour. A uh, Drake and Chris Brown no. I don't think Drake would do that. Yeah, he doesn't benefit Drake. True. Drake Drake yeah. Yeah. It'd be like Drake in the future or some shit. It wouldn't be Chris Brown. Yeah, I can only say I've never then, seen Then uh, uh, Hip Hop Celebrity 50 Years also at the Grammys. What y'all think of those performances? Mm-hmm. People was missing. A lot of people missing. I mean, you they all, it's, there's time restraints. You can mm-hmm. only get so many people. Nelly was on there. I was good with that. St. Louis was represented. Fuck the mother cities. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm how playing. You, how, playing. You don't, how you don't get no limit on there is my question. Who, nigga? Mr. Core Rapist. No, no. Super Shock could be for getting his fucking songs in the concert. Murder in jail. Mia X? No. You don't think so? No Mia X? I mean, <laughs> if you, I mean, you could have got a lot of the female MCs before you get the Mia X in jail. Bro, they didn't, I'm more mad they didn't have Snoop or fucking Cube. Like no more West. I didn't. I think that went a lot of West Coast um, representation as much. Yeah, like that. That's what I'm upset about. Niggas are mad about no limited cash money. I'm like, no. Wayne's gonna rap for fucking seven minutes at the end of the damn for the main event. 
Yeah. The cash money is, is represented. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Jay Z didn't rap doing the fucking thing, and he is the biggest icon hip hop guy. But he had a 10 minute song, he finna rap in a exactly. minute. Exactly. So no it bad makes boy. sense for him not to be in it. No bad boy. I don't think Diddy was there. No, I'm just saying, bad boy, period. Like, I mean, technically, locks. <laughs> yeah, the locks were signed to bad boy. So this is the issue. Did he beat the talking about the time you got sleepy. That's the problem. It was like yeah. they was only doing like half of their verses. Like no, but listen, Diddy is is beefing with with Mace, Craig Mack gone, Biggie gone. Like ain't Loon in jail? Yeah, no, Loon is in um in um he's out of jail, but he's in the uh, United Arab Emirates. He's in Miller okay. Rock. Well, Sean gone, yeah. Black Rob dead. Damn. Like other than Diddy, who the fuck gone well? Like G Depp, G Depp is in jail. G Depp's still in jail. So you know, other than Diddy, who who who's in the rap? You know, you know, it's, it's, this this quick quick side note. Are we ready to talk about how shiesty like Diddy might really be? Yeah, what do you mean we're ready? We've been I've been no no years. time out. You done it, Shane? You done? You done? Jada Kiss now? came out and said that all that shit was fake. That Diddy was like helping them, and the whole fuck the lock shit was 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 a, was a promo program made by Diddy. Well, maybe him, but what about everybody else? Like, Diddy the one helped them niggas win versus like, Black Rob got played, G Dev got played, Loom definitely got played. They try to like Diddy tried to recreate Mace through Loom, through Young Jock. <laughs> like he was trying to pull like all kind of shit. Uh, I don't know about Young Jock, because Young Jock wouldn't even sign the bad boy stopped at first. Young Jock was was, 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 was he, he signed with them later. Block block entertainment. He was a yeah. He was uh, like that wasn't that wasn't a Mason recreation. That nigga just young. He was just young Jock. That's crazy. Bro. Like, and he had that big hit. He had that big underground hit going down. And then I mean, there was, like, I'm on there, there was talks. There was talks. The Biggie was trying to create his own shit. Listen, man. Might have had. Diddy. Diddy the same as Baby. The same as. Jerry Heller, the same as anybody that you can name in hip hop that runs a label. <laughs> that runs a label. Yeah. Diddy ain't did shit different than nobody else. Diddy ain't did shit different than none of them other motherfuckers. Like yeah. he, he has it. He pissing on Carisha. I mean that she she likes it. <laughs> I don't miss hours. I don't kick shame. You gotta stop doing that, bro. That's because I, because I, because I ain't into it. Don't mean that somebody else don't like it. Mm -hmm. And you know who was looking good though? Oh, yeah. Scissor, nigga, Scissor. Yeah, Have y'all seen her sprung up like a rotisserie chicken on the, in that video? No. Dog, Scissor tied up in them little ropes and things. And she <laughs> hanging. <laughs> hey, type, hey, type, look up Scissor and ropes. No. <laughs> And the girl was like, she, what else? Yeah, and I was gonna check it out. This wasn't at the Grammys, this is the new album. She got like a little video out. I, 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 I still got some stills of it. Okay. Bro, Scissor she looked like a rotisserie chicken. Like I went to Boston Market. She was <laughs> uh, I up tied up, looking scrumptious. Okay. Did y'all see that dress at the Grammys? I didn't see her dress, no. Oh my god. Well, you might want to do your Googles later, my nigga. Whatever BBL she got is that nigga. I think, I think she admitted that she got a. No, she did. Yeah, she did. I ain't nothing wrong with that. If you want to get your body done, get your body done. That's yeah. your body. Mm -hmm. her, her surgeon is chef's fucking kiss. That nigga, hey, he did the damn thing. Where it is, Drake paid for that shit when they was dating. I don't care who paid for it. Good job. Whoever. Oh man, Wanye's kids was dope doing the Smokey Robinson joint. Yeah, that was dope. I was like, man, I was like, that's kind of dope to see that happen with Wanye's kids, where they they they're kind of like that next generation of dope. Y'all buying that new Smokey Robinson? Uh, Smokey Robinson now? Yeah. It's called Gasm. Gasm. I'm not buying Gasm. You're not I'm buying, buying that shit. That shit will be hard, bro. I, it's already out. I listened to like four songs. It's out. How, how does, it, does it sound? Or like, does it sound? What is it? How does it sound like? Remember when Brian McKnight made "Show You How Your Pussy Work" and all that? Yes. Shit? This is like Smokey being a little too nasty to be old as fuck. Smokey's in his eighties, I'm, I'm believe. Right? Smokey got a song uh, talking about it's gonna fit. 
Uh, <laughs> y'all need to look at the track list, bro. Look at the track oh, no. list of the album, man. What do you got a song called? It's gonna fit. It's the last song on the album, dog. It's something with fit. I'm gonna make it fit, or it's gonna fit. It's something real trifling. And that nigga 80, bro. It's an old ass man. It's called I, I fit I fit in there. I fit in there. Thank you. <laughs> and you and he ain't talking about the regular spot either. He owns some smoky owns some some trifling shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I say yeah. wait a minute, Smokey, Smokey, Smokey the discovered. I ain't no I say wait a minute, not Smokey. You too old to be trying new shit. <laughs> Your new shit is in New shit got to stop at like 55. That's what I was going to say. What the new shit stops at 55, right? After 55, whatever the fuck I ain't did, I ain't going to do. So. Right. <laughs> As I mentioned in record label people, Dojo, you uh, you brought up uh, Jay Prince on Million Dollars with the Game, man. Uh, going for us on, uh, you know. I mean, I just, um, I don't know. I feel like and this is my own personal opinion. I feel like Jay Prince. Cause I, I read, so I, I listened to it. I didn't read it, but I listened to his audio book, uh, which is very good. But he talks about a lot about loyalty. He talks a lot about moving in silence. He talks a lot about standing on the wall if you and know, letting other people do their thing. Like I don't never need the credit. So my thing is, what brought you out to talk about something that really didn't even involve you outside of your kids? And then why on this interview? I haven't seen it, so a million dollars worth of game. Um, are your kids not talking and they were the ones that were there? The shit just looked so staged. Like it looked like it looked like they didn't really like usually Wallow and uh Gilly the kid are really good about like you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> each other and talking amongst each yeah, other. And keeping it real lighthearted. Yeah, it didn't get that vibe. Like if you when you first start watching the interview, the shit's like quiet. It ain't nothing going on, ain't no music going on, nothing, right? So it's like picture, picture me and Sleepy getting somebody on a podcast. We don't agree with who should be on. Like, like I, should, I, I want this person on there, so we go put them on there. Sleep, like whatever, let's do it. So you can just feel it. It started off with uh, Jay Prince trying to kind of go in about what happened, and Gilly had to go. Hold on, hold on. let's just start off with saying R.I.P. Takeoff because it don't sound like you any kind of remorseful at all about what happened, my nigga. That, it just sounded forced. Like a lot of people was going at a uh, million dollars for the game because it's like, why would y'all even have that man on here? If y'all know he wasn't go um, be remorseful, y'all know he wasn't gonna say anything outside of some political shit. And his son over there, like the the younger son, uh, got the hat real low and he just kind of sit off to the side, like, man, I'm just here, man. It's whatever y'all. You know which one is the, this? The one that was with them, Jazz, or which one? Which one? Or uh, Jay Prince Jr. Shit. Which one? Is, which one is the one that was in the video? That was like I, ain't, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Jay Prince Jr. Okay, him. He was the one off to the side, not really saying much. And it just says a lot about, um, you know, what this whole. I think we talked about it a little while ago when Takeoff first got murdered. Uh, what this whole loyalty thing is. I mean, granted, they're saying right that the shooter was from. Uh, they like offset. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Takeoff and Quavo's camp, like it came from him. So it's like, why y'all not going? Why y'all not going after him like y'all going after us? And the thing is, it's like, yo, this is your event. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But on, on the same side, though, of Jay Prince, you can't control if a motherfucker, like, like if me and Sleepy throwing a party and you and Daryl come here talking about I'm the king, of, I'm the king of Iowa, nigga. I'm popping bottles and I'm shooting, I'm shooting shit out. We didn't, we didn't know that was gonna happen, right? But you would think that since it's our party, we got shit under control. We know. If Daryl come in here on some hot shit, we know how to calm that shit down. And apparently that shit did not happen at all. So um, that's kind of where it got left off at. But I mean, I just think it's fucked up because it didn't even happen over a nice game. It was over these niggas talking about basketball. Like, damn. Like, I know niggas get heated in basketball conversations, but you know what I'm saying? These niggas was talking about hooping. And the niggas like, even Quavo was like, you know what, nigga? We ain't even going to talk about this, bro. I'm going to get out of here. And the nigga just... The other nigga pulled his gun out in reaction to seeing Quavo about to get hemmed up. So I don't know. <clears throat> a lot of assumptions, but the result is just you can't come back from death. I don't care how you feel about somebody. So show some remorse, show some class. You're going to be a boss. Be a boss. Oh, shit got fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm here because 
people wanted me to, to to speak on it. So I'm speaking on it. It's fucked up. We didn't have anything to do with it. But this whole, you know, I talk to real bosses, and you know, if I, I'm going to protect myself. It's like, hey, bro, what the fuck are you talking like, about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the, the interview was real weird. I, I, I expected, and again, this is just based upon the the I ain't gonna call it the myth, but the stories you hear about Jay Prince. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't expect him to go on nothing talking about paperwork and and doing some of the shit that he was doing. Like I just when you you should never put people on the pedestal because he, he's built this mystique about being this boss and this perfect you know this legend. almost like a boogeyman, like like quiet yeah. boogeyman. Perfect. This street legend shit, and now you're on the fucking podcast. And nothing wrong with podcasts. I'm a po- host of a podcast. Mm-hmm. But you fucking Jay Prince. You're on the fuck. Jay Prince don't belong on no fucking podcast. Bringing out paperwork and this, that, and the third. Yeah, bro, like, like, he brought out real paper. Like, like my nigga. Bro, like, 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 showed up with a, like, like, with a statue of papers. Yeah, picture nigga pulled up like Indiana yeah, Jones, bro, bro, with the documents. Show, like, coming on our show, and you was like, yo, hey, Doja, I want you, I want you to read. Read this right here. Read this. I want you to read this. And I want you to, I want, I want to, you know, you read it because I don't want them to think. It's like, nigga, who, 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 who approval are you chasing? If you, if I'm a boss, you I'm Jay a, Prince, bro. Prince, who the you're fuck, fucking Jay Prince. Who the fuck do I care? Nigga, who the fuck do I care cares about me or not, nigga? I wasn't even fucking there. Why is your son not talking? That's the question. Why is your son being quiet? You I was just disappointed. I'm yeah, disappointed yeah. because there you go. I feel like a lot of, and again, I'm a semi-old nigga. I ain't quite old, but old niggas been letting me down recently, man. I'm like, mm-hmm. like I'm like, you niggas is too old to be doing this goofy shit. This is shit mm-hmm. that I expect. Fucking, I ain't gonna even say Gucci man them because they old now. This some shit I expect <laughs> gonna do. This some shit gonna do. So this yeah. is some dumb goofy shit. Like, the, the fuck are you doing? NBA young boy shit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. so I I was disappointed. Um. But shit, maybe back in the day, Easy E would have done some shit like this if social media existed. I, I don't know, but I just mm. feel like I'm like. I mean, I think about that all the time, though, man. Like, how would we been looking at a lot of these greats if they had social media? Or like, hey, shit, I get mad real quick. I'm gonna jump on here. Fuck Diddy. You be like, damn, he said fuck Diddy. Even, and somebody made it feel differently in the morning. Mm-hmm. But if they had, had social media, they would have been popped off with it. Why they sit in the bar? See, but they might have told one of their boys at the bar, "Fuck Diddy." But see, but got see, home and slept about it. it. Was like, man, I was tripping like that's the thing, drunk. though, girl. That's the thing, though. See, it, it's it's different if you came up in that era and you stayed there. See, Jay Prince, he he made it through all them eras. So you would oh, imagine, okay. I would think, me, I would think if I made it through the through the pot through the through the pre death row shit, I made it through Pac and Diddy. I made it through. You know, Fifty Cent when he took over the East Coast, I made it through all these different genres of music and years and years and years and years and years. I would know how to operate where I'm not going to get on a fucking podcast or paper talking about here's all the paperwork right here. Who to who? Like, and then Offset got on and was real. He was like, "Yo, if you, hey, if you if you feel some kind of way, you can call me." Because my thing is, how you go? How did, like, what they said something about Offset? No, nah, so this thing pitching me telling Sleepy. Nigga, you don't you don't even hang with your brothers, nigga. No, you, you don't know nothing about your brother. How the fuck I'm gonna tell Sleepy how, what kind of relationship he got with his own brothers? <laughs> so how that look? He was like, you you wasn't even around. You wasn't even around. Offset. I'm like, how do you even? He's like, I got ears everywhere. So now you telling on your so I, I, it just wasn't a good look, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you you, you dipping and dabbling and shit. It, just, it was it was it was it was some shit I wouldn't expect. Yeah, from. Yeah. A nigga, his age. Forget all that other shit. It's just, I hold old niggas to a different standard. OGs. I hold OGs Mm. to a different standard. You are OG. Yeah. Uh, But, you know, it is what it is. So, for shit. The result is the same. Yeah. So, but yeah. Terrible, uh, terrible thing to do. I mean, just talk about them taking off, taking off the episode because it's just how uncomfortable shit was. You know if you get a chance before they take it down, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to it tonight. Yeah, it, it was interesting. The shit only like 45 minutes. Damn, <laughs> you could tell they it was like, like an hour and a half. It was like, hey, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> shit is done. Damn. Yeah, thanks. 
like a part of me is like 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 I've always like man, there's been podcasts I scrapped that I just never came out with because it just wouldn't, mm-hmm. just wouldn't. No, hit. So, sometimes <laughs> you're not hitting, or sometimes the subjects just ain't working. Play all our shit though. Fuck that. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I'm talking about where you had somebody on there and be like, ah, oh, this ain't the vibe right here. Like we, we the vibe, nigga. Cut my shit. Why are you why are you so angry all the time, man? Nah, it's black like history, man. Hey, it's black like history, like history, man. Give me a black history fan right now, see. It's black like history, my dog. It's a black history fan. Go. Oh, uh, black history fact? What right we now. doing? Yep, right now. Uh one of the greatest oh, on. musical soundtracks of all time. It's fucking boomerang, nigga. <laughs> It's beautiful. It's fucking art on fucking this nigga. cassette, CD, fucking vinyl. It's art. The Boomerang soundtrack, if you ain't never listened to it, you should. I thought it's amazing. Some political, the first black politician yeah, man. You know, right with a pencil type shit. I don't need to talk about Boomerang. Boomerang, dog. I just watched it today. Such a good movie. But the soundtrack is fucking A1. Hey man, listen. Hey Black History Month. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you have not got your person or person's stuff ready for Valentine's Day, you better do it quickly. Okay? Don't be that guy or that girl or that person, however you identify. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. <laughs> you know, it's not it's just, you know, it's a pagan holiday. <laughs> no, pagan holiday. <laughs> Hey, you see the shirt? The shirt say, like, "Don't do it too soon. Don't do it. Reconsider." <laughs> hey, man, I'm the exact opposite of this nigga. Valentine's Day is fucking litty. I love love, love fire, dog. Get you some oh, love, man, 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 and and take care of the people that you love. Yes, if you can't afford to get the, you know. The big bouquet flower joints. If you got to go to Durberg to Snooks and grab some, just I grab it. To my St. Louis people over on Club Shell, they got the motherfucking bouquets in the back for five dollars. So I'll get you some of that. Yeah. Mm. I ain't been to Club Shell in a long time. Oh hey, my god! Listen, you can get you a motherfucking thing of malt liquor. Get you a bouquet of flowers, fifteen dollars. Oh my god. Well, man, thank y'all for listening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where can they hit you up at Doja? Hey, man, you see it, man. D O S I A D underscore O underscore S underscore I underscore A. <laughs> I forgot for a second. Damn. Oh, Steve, where can they hit you up at? Uh, on Instagram at Got to Go to Sleep. It's just going to be my kid. Um, on Twitter, I'm actually more active on Twitter now, so you can hit me up on Twitter. I am not. Listen, you know what? I no, not. hey, I've been, I've been getting, it, I've been getting back in the mix. I'm starting to <laughs> get my groove back on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, I have not been on Twitter in a while. It just, it's yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, I see that video where the coach. I think that's the coach of uh, North Carolina. Where he come in, he like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's me on Twitter right now. I'm starting to get it back. I had lost it. I went kind of politically correct and hey. wasn't talking about certain uh, subjects. But now I'll be in the mix. So on Twitter, Twitter it's got to go to sleep. Uh, G O T T A G O, the number two. S L W E P. Little one underneath. Come fuck with the boy. Twitter 2011 to 2014. Oh, that's back when it was Twitter after dark. That was a wild place. That was a wild. And that's back when back when motherfuckers would be like one of my followers, and they talk oh, about your man. ass. <laughs> oh my goodness. yeah. Hey, motherfuckers would be like one of my. Hey, I saw. Hey, I knew it wasn't about me, but I knew it was about. Like I knew it was about. This chick was like one of my followers. Be whistling in my booty, and I was like, "That's that nigga right there." <laughs> <laughs> I seen your ass at the tweet up, nigga. Yeah, you yeah. look like you tweet ups. I forgot about the tweet ups. Um, <laughs> I see you at the tweet up in Houston, nigga. I was like, <laughs> That's crazy. It was, I, I, you know what? And when I think about it, like during that time, like that, I, I did not use Twitter for all of the glory that I could have used it for because I clipped it. It was it was tweet up. It was it was tweet house parties. It was I'm like, when the fuck did I missed all that shit? All of that shit. 
That was that 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 oh eight oh eight oh nine two thousand ten period. <laughs> Twitter was the best. Did you just do a little wave face? <laughs> that was a nasty time. Hey man, let me tell you something, brother. Let me tell you something. 2008 to like 2000, uh, two, 2008, 2011, it was the prequel, right? 2011 to 2014, oh, oh, oh. You you, you mess around saw somebody in real life was like, oh, you nasty on, on Twitter. You, I know you. you. That was when it started being like, oh wait, hey, hey, I know you. It's got to sleep. I'm like, who the fuck? It's Doja. I'm like, how you I, on Twitter? I, I follow you on Twitter. That's when this shit got weird. I follow you on Twitter. See, it, it, there there are times where I've missed my old Twitter. Oh man, man, my original, my first Twitter dog. Oh, I had got I had got up to like twenty thousand followers, dog. Like I was I was in that motherfucker. <laughs> my first Twitter was grooving, nigga. <laughs> I was twenty thousand. I was like, I didn't know how to monetize the shit back then. I just, I, got, I woke up one day and was like, damn, there's like twenty. I was like, I don't be talking about shit either. I was just being myself. I wasn't even talking about shit. Boy, I, I'm now when I, I'm in a good space on Twitter. I'm at like a good three thousand. Listen, I know a lot of the motherfuckers. They, 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 they migrated over. Like the, they were saying, oh, he's back. And they they migrated over. Best I've known some of motherfuckers a decade. I just want to watch. <laughs> oh, back in yeah, because I couldn't participate. I just want to watch. Right? Oh. I could, oh yeah, okay, yeah. I had got, I had got saved. I had got saved and I retired. I remember when I retired. Oh, so my. I was like, I just want to watch. I can't, I can't do nothing with you. What's, I what's can't your do name? Nothing. What's your name on? He said, I got saved. <sighs> Make sure hey, I posted it on IG as well. <laughs> Just posted by. Oh, oh yeah, and please, uh, we have our own YouTube page now, guys. Yeah. So like, uh, share, subscribe. We plan to do some cool things coming up this spring and late winter. Maybe doing some some random Instagram chats or some goddamn me Facebook lives. So tap in. We're gonna be a lot more active. Uh, Hold on. Hold on. Which uh, if we get on Instagram Live, or Facebook Live, or one of y'all little weirdos come on and talk crazy, it's like that. Because I mean, right now y'all y'all making moves. Y'all had 156 subs, man, so far. Hey, so we. Hey, I don't. You know what? Cut the check, that, girl. Looking like the that. The, 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 pace, the pace is the pace moving kind of slow. We was kind of moving. I'm mean, listen. Because I need if anybody still fuck with the slumber party, holla at your girlfriends. Oh, 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 now we're getting real. Here we go. Holler, holler, holler at your Here girlfriends. Go. Holler at your cousins. Here we go. Please have, if you can get one new person to like, check out the podcast and see if they like it. If they like it, they can like and subscribe and then they can talk to a person. Slumber we party. just try to do the best that we can to keep this movement going. So seriously. Slumber. Because you got to go to sleep. Right? No, stop that. This Because it can be dudes in the slumber party. This, this ain't like that. I'm, I'm clearly mad. Everybody like, go. I'm, I'm, but everybody go. If, if you can get one of your homies to check out the podcast, if they like something, even if they don't like something, come talk shit on the, on the fucking YouTube. I'd be talking to you motherfuckers. No, you don't. But I, <laughs> you know, I'll talk to you niggas. You want to fucking talk crazy, nigga, we can talk crazy. All in fun. It's Black History Month. And Matt... Uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King was nonviolent, nonviolent. So yeah, keep, listen, listen, keep, what, keep what, that. Girl, you do with this. What what was the name of the uh other other uh, speech where where uh Martin Luther King was talking that talking that real cash shit? It was it is it, it, I mean obviously talk about I have a dream speech, but there was a, there was there was one that he had, I cannot remember the name of it, but he was like he Letter was from Birmingham that. Jail? Was it was it Letter from Birmingham Jail? I don't know if it was that one. I gotta find it. But to y'all, to y'all that's watching this, hit up Slumber Party and, and let them know what which one it was. But I forgot which which um which which poem he did or whatever it was. He was talking real cash shit. He was like, "Hey, yeah, I ain't that. I ain't the one." But you know, hey man, oh, summertime coming, man. Drink some water, do some push ups or something. Don't be out here being don't be out here being flabby like Larry Holmes. Get yourself together. <laughs> It's February. They, we we made the spring. Break. Hey, fucking summer bodies are made in the fucking winter, nigga. Hey, nigga summer shit. bodies are made in the winter. 
I'm working, my nigga. I and I want y'all to be healthy because I'm, trying to be, healthy. I'm, I'm trying to be healthy. I'm forty fucking two. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to beat. I'm trying to double this. Double plus two. Double this plus twenty. So yeah, take care of yourselves, black people. Cause we, hey, world, the world's fucked up, and the world don't fuck with us for real. It's Black History Month. I love all y'all. Keep thanks, your thanks. motherfucking heads up. Keep your motherfucking head to the sky. And go to and sleep. Fucking, hey, rest is important. And Get eight hours of sleep. Gotta go to sleep, baby. Cause you gotta go to sleep. Get off this motherfucker.